Hello and welcome to monitor port scanning attack. Now in this video we are going to take a look at a couple of points. We are going to learn about the port scanning attack and then how we can analyze these packets inside Wireshark that we are going to cover here in this video. So now what you can do here, first of all you can start Wireshark and you can also start your browser so that we can download port scanner tool inside Windows operating system. Now guys I am inside my Windows 10 machine and first of all we can start Wireshark. So you can click on your home, you can search for Wireshark and you can click it and start it inside your Windows 10 machine. Meanwhile we can also download the port scanner tool inside our windows machine so you can start your browser here it is opengoogle.com and let's download nmap because nmap is a tool which can be used to perform port scanning right so now you can type here download nmap for windows and hit enter so this is the official website nmap.org you can click here and open it here it is right and here you can see that this is the exe file which we can download inside windows and then we can install it inside it so click here and download the file which is around 26.3 mb file so click save file and let's download it inside our system so the file has been downloaded now you can simply click here and install it inside windows 10 operating system click yes here it is this is nmap setup click i agree next and install a very simple procedure to install and map inside your system basically and map is a port scanner so it can scan the open ports inside your server system etc and pcap is already installed reinstall possibly with different options no and pcap is basically used inside and map so that it can perform port scanning if you don't have then you can install it i already have click next click finish that's it so nmap installation is done here you can see the shortcut here right next is wireshark so wireshark is open this is our adapter wi-fi so when i will double click on it it will start capturing the packets inside my network let me minimize it first now let's talk about our target so we can take a website so we can find the open ports inside a web server or we can perform scanning inside a web server so I'm going to take the sample website which I generally use. First of all, you can open command prompt. Let's find out the IP address of the server and then you can type your ping space www.vulnweb.com which is a sample website and we can use it. Hit enter. So this is the IP address 176.28.50.165. Right. Now we know the IP address. Let me copy it, select it, right click here. And minimize it and now you can open nmap so double click here and open it so inside nmap this is nmap here you can see the target where I will put the IP address this is the profile that if you want to perform TCP scan or UDP scan or ping scan or quick scan let me paste the IP address here and basically I can take help of UDP packet so I will try intense scan plus UDP so I am scanning that web server, right? And now we can open Wireshark. So here it is. Now what you can do, you can start the capturing process. So double click here on a adapter and start the capturing process. Here it is. Now let me go back to Nmap and simply you can click on scan. So I've clicked on scan. It will generate the packets and the packets will travel from my system to the web server and Wireshark in the middle so obviously Wireshark will contain the packets which are traveling inside our network and then we can analyze that if we are able to find out the port scanning packets or not so it has started scanning let me go back inside Wireshark here it is right so you can see here that it is capturing packets inside my network so basically you just need to wait here so guys if you want you can also select any other profile for example you can select intense scan and then you can click scan so it will also perform intense scan so in intense scan basically they try to provide you information about the open ports services operating systems 
trace route etc etc so you can also perform intense scan and then you can see that we got the packets inside Wireshark let's find out port scanning packets inside Wireshark so let me stop the capturing process here and let's close and map here all right so we know the IP address IP address is 176.28.50.165 this is the IP address now we can take help of filters here so let me type IP dot DST double equals to and let me paste and hit enter so here you can see that I got some packets here and first of all you can see the ICMP protocol packets here so you can double click here so you can see here that this is a ping request so when we perform port scanning first of all it perform ping scanning to check if the target is alive or not right after that you can see here that it is basically using TCP protocol and trying to send the SYN packet then ACK right and you can see this is also ICMP packet when we have performed intense scan and this was the UDP scan so you can see here that we are able to detect that this is the source which is our system and this is the destination which is the website and you can see that we are able to check that someone is actually trying to ping the website and someone is trying to connect with the server to get information from the server so that's how you can use filter and you can simply find out these ICMP or TCP or UDP kind of packets inside Wireshark so basically if you wait for 5 to 10 minutes then you will get so many packets around thousands of packets inside Wireshark with the source and the destination right so this is basic information about port scanner analysis inside Wireshark in the next video we are going to learn how to monitor phishing attack inside Wireshark.